Hey y'all, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are opening a brand new subscription and that is the Drape Fit box. Drape Fit did reach out to me and they offered to send this to me at a discounted price. And I was a little bit hesitant. I hadn't heard much about them. I looked it up and there were some pretty mixed reviews, but I decided to order a box for myself just so I can try it out and see what the situation is. If you're anything like me and you hadn't heard of Drape Fit before, they are an online styling subscription service. So similar to a Wantable or a Stitch Fix, you fill a online quiz out and they will send you a box on whatever cadence you choose. So I will say their online ordering system was strange. Um, I filled out the quiz and I noticed quite a few typos in there, which is just not the most professional thing. So that kind of threw me off. And as I was looking at some other videos of other unboxings, it really didn't seem very good. So I decided I wanted to give them a fair chance and get a box for myself. So that is what I did, but let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. So when you open the box, it is super nice packaging. It does say Drape Fit on there and it says we do best fit. So this is our little bundle and then it looks like we have some other things in here. So let's go ahead and open this. Oh, it actually has my name on this card. So that's kind of cute. And then it looks like we have a little pamphlet as well as our return mailer. Let's see what's in this pamphlet first. Has all their socials on here. Um, talks about who Drape Fit is. Oh, if you keep all the options, you do get 25% off. And then we have this. Oh, looks like these are my items. So I'm actually not going to look. It's just in order form. So it doesn't actually have any information. Um, and it has an information or a little thing from my stylist. So that's cute. And then it does have a little card with my name on it and it says a gift for you oh okay cool so they gave me a 20 dollars gift card interesting okay see one thing <laughs> like this is so sweet and i'm not going to discount that but like something like this it says to and then it says form instead of from which it's just a small thing but i feel like those really do add up um so i'm not sure so i guess they they did figure out that it's me even though i used my actual name, but, um, all right, well, <laughs> we're going to see what we got here. I'm just getting weird vibes. So if you know anything else about this company, let me know. Tried to look at their online score of, from the Better Business Bureau and stuff like that. And it was a little iffy. So proceed with caution, but let's see what's in the clothes. Well, there's one thing in here that I already don't like, and it is this incredibly bright blue. Um, I just really don't like this color at all, but I am willing to change my opinion. Um, first thing on here, this is a sweater, a cardigan. Okay. And this is pretty long cardigan. Um, it has kind of a interesting print. Reads kind of winter to me. Hmm. Smells interesting. Uh, I don't know we'll try it i'm not against it but i it's not something i'd pick for myself oh my goodness oh okay so this is from a brand called ambiance which i'm pretty sure is sold at like q and other really low-end fashion stores wow this is okay this is pretty see-through uh okay oh good god okay this is, <laughs> I feel so bad and so negative. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I guess this is a shirt. It's so see-through. Like <laughs> you can see my mouth. Um, okay. Ooh, this is soft. Okay. Okay. We have something soft, something incredibly sheer. Uh, shirt with some cutouts. I have to be honest, everything feels really, really cheap. Like 10, $15 kind of cheap. Um, okay, and then we have some plaid pants. I gotta be honest, pretty not excited to try all this on. Um, 
but I'm willing to be proven wrong. So <laughs> let's flip the camera around and give it a try. <laughs> All right, so I put on that blue top. Um, it's really itchy and uncomfortable. I do have to say I like the neckline. I feel like this neckline is really flattering for me. I don't like the sleeves. Um, I feel like they're a bit uncomfortable and also just aren't really doing anything for me. Um, Lengthwise, it's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna wear this, so I, I don't know. I mean, I guess for the right person, but I am not that person. <laughs> okay, um, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, first, we'll start with the shirt. Um, it it doesn't fit or maybe it does I don't know it's like a really odd length this is so strange no um and then the pants are I mean they look better on than they are these are horrible um like you can see in the mirror they're just they're super super tight and itchy and I don't like it. So, no. <laughs> I am actually pleasantly surprised with it. I don't think it's as see-through as it was looking when I first tried it on. I still don't think it's the most flattering thing in the world. The sleeves are kind of cute. It's definitely trendy. Um, I just don't know if I'd actually get any use out of this, but it's not horrendous. And I could totally see what they're going for with these pants. They're, it's just quality wise and style wise, honestly, this is just not something for me. Um, but the shirt is not half bad. And then I'll go ahead and throw on this cardigan just so we can kind of see what this looks like. Hmm, okay. I mean, y'all know I love a cardigan. I don't know how I feel about this. It has like different kinds of textures, so it's a little bit fluffier around the cream and white parts. You know, it's nothing horrible, but it's also nothing that really excites me. Let's recap. Let's look at some prices and then we'll we'll make our final judgments here. I hate being mean. I really hate being mean, but this was just not good. Um let's let's check some prices. Uh, so first thing on here are the women's plaid high-waisted paper bag pants. These are in a medium and they are $29.75. I would absolutely not pay that for these. That's it. Okay. The shoulder spacing spaghetti top in black. This is $24.99. I would also not pay that for that. Uh, this white shirt is $25.50. Eh. I don't think it's worth $25. This blue short sleeve comfortable blouse, that's what they're calling this, is $29.99. That is hilarious. Uh, and then we have this cardigan, and this is the Women's Strike Aztec Open Front Cardigan and it is $38.99. Okay, <laughs> so all together it would be $149, and if I purchased everything, I'd get 25% off with sales tax being added, total would be $120.61, which is not bad, and I'm not gonna say that it's bad, um, because price is like, sure, Sure. At six items, $120 total. If I were in high school, this would have been a really good box for me. I feel like they're marketing themselves towards a higher end clientele, but they're actually producing a service that is for a lower spending clientele. So I am iffy about that. Uh, I do have this gift card, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm really sorry that this ended up being so negative, um, but yikes. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm very interested to see how 
you feel about this. Uh, so definitely let me know and I look forward to seeing you in my next and hopefully more positive video. <laughs> in the meantime, I hope you have a killer day. Bye!